Hey guys, first off, we've all seen this punch a million times. Uh, it's Mayweather's signature punch, his signature performance. Um, and today we're gonna kind of talk about and break down how he's kind of able to do this um, with one simple trick. Uh, no, this is not clickbait, um, but um, yeah, an excellent motion and an excellent uh, punch, right? And how does he generate power and how does he do this? Uh, well, first off, um, he's he's not just doing one thing here, okay? The, the thing that he's doing at the top is like a left hook, right? A left hook. And then the thing that he's doing at the bottom with his feet is actually called a pendulum step. Um, and this is going to be a, the process of transferring your weight through kind of a side straddle hop motion. Um, uh, and, you know, you kind of use it to cover ground uh, in boxing during a weight transition. Uh, so what I want to talk about first, well, first, let me show you what that, what I mean by that, the pendulum step. Uh, so it's essentially when you're in one of your boxing positions, right, front foot or the back foot, uh, you're going to be transferring your weight, but through a hop. Uh, and what you're going to do, you're going to have your heel, your weight on your front foot here, and you're just going to shift your weight this way and jump, right, kind of. Now, the key is, is that your head is not really moving, right? In the beginning, uh, your head's not really moving, uh, but your feet are moving, and your head is supported by your foot. So you just make sure you get your feet under your head, and you're able to use this technique to shift forward, move, cover ground, and transition your weight as you continue to move around the ring. Um, and being able to transfer and shift and, you know, use the pendulum step to cover more ground than just one step at a time, right? Because now you can cover two steps, you know, per weight transition. Um, but uh, the core of this is combining that motion with the lower part of your body with the upper motion of a hook. Um, and Mayweather's gonna show us how that looks here on Diego Corrales again, leaning forward onto the front foot. And now as he shuffles forward, Sorry, I couldn't get that one a little slower. But boom, and he shuffles forward. His feet continue to move forward. Uh, and that's how he's able to generate power through this leaping left hook. So getting his weight forward, just like this, as he meets Diego Corrales on the line, and then jumping out of it with the hook and transferring his weight forward at the same time, uh, being able to use his body weight to generate power at the same time, he uses the pendulum step to boom, and then transfer his weight again to throw that shot in the next one, and then his last left hook. Um, but all those motions are easily attained by him being able to spring off the front foot by transferring his weight to the heel, and then springing up. And then pendulum stepping in the middle of that shot to transfer his weight boom, to the back foot. Now, <laughs> as kind of a bonus film study, um, and actually, let's take a look one more time with Mayweather and Marquez I'm doing a very similar motion um, and not really utilizing the motion of uh, the gallop or the pendulum step, but the same weight transfer idea to step into this punch as he carries and brings his weight with him from the back foot. And then after making contact, brings his weight to the back foot. Now, um, uh, before we, well, we're going to move on a little bit and we're going to show some Mike Tyson doing very similar motions um, in his fight against uh, Mr. Cole here. But here he's going to shift all his weight to the front foot and then shift with the pendulum step and bring all his weight to the back foot and then find himself into a position to shoot a jab from the back foot as he continues to press his opponent's line. But front, back, hopping forward, shifting his weight, and then still in position to continue to transfer his weight forward. Now, that's the beginning of the motion. The only difference here is, if we look at Mayweather, when he throws his left hooks, here's another look at it, he doesn't bring his weight all the way to the back line. But notice, front foot, pendulum step, brings his weight to the neutral zone. He doesn't fully cross the line or get his real weight into the shot. That's why he doesn't always knock everyone out, even though he does get them with these really great shots. Um, but
but he doesn't bring his weight all the way back to the line. As you can see, his weight is still kind of in that neutral zone um, as, this, as he's looking to throw those punches, but the core of the motion is very similar. Um, and now we're gonna take a look at it when you see a real master utilize these techniques um, all at once. So front foot, back foot, front foot, and now he's throwing the Mayweather hook here. He gets his weight on there. He leaps forward with the hook while doing the pendulum step, brings his weight to the back foot, crosses the line again all the way to the front foot, and then comes back with another pendulum stepping left hook. Just an amazing sequence of weight transitions and shifts and um, weight management. One, two, three, four, five. Just uh, amazing ability to cross the line, threaten his opponent, and cover distance. Look at where he starts this weight transition. Here. And now he's here and shifting forward, continuing to drag his head forward and press his opponent and threaten his position. And more, more importantly for Tyson, uh, stress his technique, right? How good can Cole perform? How many weight transitions in a row can he make without compromising his technique, without putting himself out of position? Uh, but an absolute master um, and, you know, a much, in my opinion, a much, much better use of this ability um, and this, this pendulum step and punch at the same time, um, you know, leaping left hook or the gazelle punch, um, whatever you want to call it, um, which is also just backboned off of uh, Dempsey's, uh, I believe, Falling Star or um, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the Falling Punch, um, where you're stepping here. And then Mike Tyson is essentially doing that very motion, boom. But he's continuing the weight transition to drag his weight to the back foot, getting his heel down, and then crossing the line again, uh, and then performing a yet again, another motion, but um, an excellent, excellent technique and an excellent use of uh, the pendulum step in boxing um, as Mike Tyson, you know, honestly is, you know, probably the greatest um, physical, uh, best technique in all of boxing, probably ever. Um, yeah.